Niagara has been a, a really good market for pro basketball and the River Lions have come in and now going on their fourth season playing professionally in St. Catharines and Niagara area. It, it was important for them to lay the groundwork, the community outreach, everything they've done on and off the court and it sets a great example for how we want the other teams to act. About to get into the draft. Uh, it's been it's been a lot of work these last couple months, getting ready for the season, getting ready for today, trying to make sure that we're prepared for this time, so that when we make the draft, we're getting the guys who fit our needs as basketball players, as people, guys who are ready to work this summer, guys who want to get better, and guys who can contribute on the basketball floor in the way that we'd like them to. Uh, been a lot of work going into this, and we're really excited for the draft. So, Mick, assuming nothing, no teams like go off the beaten path, yeah. we should just be drafting the guys who we have commitments from. We'll see what happens with the next pick, but the first two has got to be Kaze and Cassius. We can't not select them first. Nagy River Lions with the last pick in the first round. Uh, with the last pick in the first round, we're going to take Kaze Kajami Keen from Carleton University, playing overseas in Netherlands. River Lions, again, you have now the first pick in the second round. Uh, we're going to take Cassius Robertson from Medi Bayreuth in Germany, uh, originally from Toronto. It is a great honor as the CEO of the Canadian League Basketball League to be here in Hamilton, which happens to be my hometown, so I'm kind of excited about that. And to bring not only a new team to this city, but new teams across the country. The first pick in round four, the Niagara River Lions select from Hamilton, Ontario, Tyrone Watson. I felt good, you know, in front of a bunch of family and friends, uh, being a local town kid, getting drafted to the River Lions, going on the River Lions cap, it meant the world to me. In Hamilton, from New Mexico State University, in the draft cap. Nem Mitrovic from Niagara River Lions, Nem, come on up. Uh, felt nice. Yeah, it's uh, nice to be a part of the inaugural season for this league, and I think uh, everything looks like it's it's going to be set up uh, pretty cool for, for us Canadians to have a chance to play at home you know, in front of our friends and family and sort of be a part of a part of this league for the first time. And the very first pick ever for the CBL draft and the U Sports draft, the Niagara River Lions select from Ryerson University, Phil Uyadinovich. Uh, it feels amazing um, coming from uh, U Sports, obviously. Uh, two weeks later to be drafted first overall, I guess ever as a U Sports athlete is, is a surreal feeling. This is now the final pick of the U Sports draft and the final pick to conclude the inaugural CBL draft. The Niagara River Lions select from Brock University, Tyler Brown. Um, it feels amazing. It feels great. Like, I think it will be a great opportunity for me, so I'm very excited. Really excited about the guys we brought in. Um, you know, we've known for a while that we wanted to go after a certain group of guys uh, with certain characteristics. Uh, and, and we were able to follow through in that uh, tonight and we got, we got the guys we wanted and we're very happy about it. Uh, next step for us right now is, is going into free agency. You know there's going to be some spots on our team that need to be filled, especially early in the year. Um, so identifying those needs, kind of figuring out when, um, to the best of our abilities, when guys who are playing overseas are going to be back, guys who can fill in until they're back. Uh, that's, that's really the biggest thing right now and then getting ready for training camp.